a mere fool or a suicider would attempt this event. Foolish it is. Welcome to Global Entropy. You again? Yes, me again. I did tell you our interactions would continue now. Lumi, you know who this is? Not really. We've only spoken once or twice, and she hasn't given me a name. Would now be a good time? So polite. It's hard not to go and just tell you my real name. But I can't just yet. However, you may call me by a moral messenger, or I am for short. Strange. You look dreadfully similar to the Insidious Architect. <laughs> that might be because I'm her twin sister. What? There's two of them? Can you erase two? I can indeed, though there is seldom a need. You've been so polite. I can't tell you my name, but I will draw the cloak. What's with this internal screeching? I've never felt so overwhelmed. This isn't like when I faced your twin sister. That's her power, Hora. I felt this before, but it's so much more magnified without her cloak on. Ah, it was nice to let my hair out after so long. You may be the first beings in trillions of years to see me with that silly thing off. Explain! How are you crushing us with that presence of yours? Well, well that, that should, should seem obvious. I am power giving form. <laughs> Did Lumi tell you of me? I just kept him to myself because I wasn't sure you were real, and it would have been yet another ominous thing to keep us up at night. <laughs> That's okay. I will soon show you how very real I am. Do you know what's going on with our world as of current? It's being really unsettling and weird. My sister has put the supernova on pause, letting the planet slowly cook itself. The nuclear heat driving most of the inhabitants mad. She likes slow cooking plants to watch the denizens suffer. A cruel and barbaric little game, but this isn't to do so. It's hers. Though I gather when she has acquired you, she'll gladly let the supernova resume its natural velocity. Congratulations on being the first to work at Ankoku. However, there won't be any stopping it. You know that, don't you? Doesn't that scare you? If you can't leave, the supernova won't spare you either. Bold of you to assume I can't simply withstand the destructive force of an exploding sun. Bold, but also wrong. I won't even feel it. Holy crap! That wasn't even a bluff, was it? Why well, ask when you can learn firsthand? To witness the essence of true power, it is best to tackle it head on. Show me your strength, so I may see if you may be useful to me. <laughs> ah! 